as we have seen, uh, the mathematics that describes Lap deviation theory is a uh, uh, Legendre transform. So um, it's important uh, to spend uh, some time on uh, why does this particular mathematical construction arises and uh, why this uh, and what is its uh, meaning. Okay, so uh, I remind you that uh, the problem of uh, uh, large deviation theory is to compute uh, the large deviation function that I remind you is uh, minus the limit of uh, as n goes to infinity of 1 over n times the log of the probability of the event that uh, in a sequence of n uh, uh, ID random variables you get uh, uh, a, a sample mean uh, a mean of the uh, arithmetic mean of the variables which is equal to x bar which is not necessarily equal to the expected value and uh, as we have said uh, well this uh, turns out to be uh, given by the minimum over all probability distribution uh, in a particular set or in the set where uh, the expected value under this distribution p of x is equal to x bar of a function which is the uh, Kulwak-Leibold divergence uh, between uh, p and uh, the original distribution q. Okay. So the uh, the function that we want to compute is. Uh, uh, the solution of an optimization problem over a, a very high dimensional space, uh, uh, which is the space of all uh, distribution. So, in general, uh, we can think of uh, a general class of problems of this type. We want to compute a function i of x, which is uh, the minimum over a uh, high dimensional uh, uh, space uh, subject uh, to a particular constraint. Now this constraint is a linear constraint. Uh, let me write it like uh, x of p is equal to x bar of uh, a generic function u of p that uh, in our case is the uh, kubark leibniz divergence. Okay, but in general, uh, we want to solve this problem. And one property that uh, uh, <coughs> we need uh, to use is that uh, uh, well, this function u is, uh, uh, is convex. Okay? Um, this means uh, for this problem that uh, um, this problem has a unique uh, solution. Okay, so uh, generally I can uh, uh, represent uh, this problem in a space where uh, uh, here I put the value of x bar and here I put uh, the value of u. So for every for every uh, for every p. For every point p, I will have a I will have a point uh, in this space uh, where this is uh, where, where the coordinates of these points are x of p and uh, u of p. So graphically, what I want to do is to fix uh, uh, a particular value uh, x. Uh, uh, x bar and to find uh, what is the minimal value that uh, what is the minimal point uh, the lowest possible point uh, that I can achieve uh, for a particular speed okay and then uh, I want to do this uh, for different uh, uh, values of x and, uh, and this uh, will, uh, uh, will give me uh, the solution 
which is the function uh, i of x that I'm uh, uh, looking for. Okay, so all for every p, I will have many many points here. But what I'm looking at is uh, is the is the values of uh, is the points uh, say uh, p star that uh, uh, achieve this particular um, uh, optimization for a particular value of, value of an x bar. Okay. So this is uh, our uh, uh, problem. And uh, so how do we solve a constant uh, uh, optimization problem? Well, we introduce uh, uh, Lagrange multiplier. So we rewrite this problem as uh, a problem where we take uh, uh, the minimum of all uh, P of the maximum over we introduce a, a variable H which is the Lagrange multiplier and uh, uh, we write this in this uh, in this form. Okay, so this is uh, uh, what you do uh, with uh, um, a multipliers. So uh, you can check that this. Uh, uh, so when you extremize this function with respect to h, you impose that x of p must be equal to x bar, and uh, and you can check that this is a, a maximization problem in h because. Uh, 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 you want to uh, um, maximize this function uh, and um, uh, okay so so now you can also invert these two problems and write this as uh, the max of an h of uh, uh, h times uh, x bar minus uh, the, uh, the max over p of uh, uh, h times x of p minus u of p. Okay, so I've just uh, uh, rewritten uh, the same problem. Now, uh, you see that uh, here we have a different problem and we can find uh, that the solution of this problem is a function of h. Okay, so we, we write this as uh, uh, this uh, function that realizes this maximum and solves this problem as uh, phi of h. Okay. And um, so <coughs> you see that uh, um, uh, so the, in this way, what I have done is to map uh, uh, a constraint maximization problem, which is this one, into uh, an unconstrained one, which is essentially what gives me uh, the function uh, phi of h. Okay, so this function phi of h is given by uh, the max over p of this function. So let's try to uh, get a little bit of uh, intuition about uh, uh, what I'm doing here. Okay. So um, <coughs> first of all, what is uh, uh, phi of h? So I have to I have to take uh, this uh, uh, straight line uh, in this plot with the slope uh, with the slope h, okay. And then uh, uh, this uh, point here is uh, x times h is is this side. And uh, I have to subtract uh, from this uh, uh, u of uh, u of p, which is uh, this distance here. 
and uh, uh, this uh, this uh, is uh, positive because uh, uh, and then I want to uh, maximize this. Okay, so maximizing this means uh, to find exactly this point. Okay, the point which is on the boundary. And, uh, and then, uh, when you solve this problem, you want to find, uh, so this problem you can solve it for uh, different values of h, uh, so for different uh, uh, slope of this line, okay? Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and for, every, uh, for every h you can uh, solve uh, um, uh, this problem. So, so here, essentially you should look at uh, uh, the distance uh, from this line uh, and this curve uh, and find uh, uh, where is the maximum. So probably the maximum will be here. Okay, what gives you the largest distance uh, from uh, this line and this line. Okay, and now what you have to do is to adjust uh, this uh, um, uh, in this problem here. What you do is to uh, adjust h, find the h, such that uh, the, uh, these two problems coincide. And this uh, means uh, that uh, essentially when you take a derivative of this, uh, uh, of this function, this tells you that uh, uh, the point h that you should choose is such that x should be the derivative of phi of h with respect to h. Okay, so uh, <coughs> it essentially uh, uh, tells you that uh, the uh, so that so that the, if if this distance is uh, uh, maximal, so this means that uh, uh, this curve should be tangent uh, to this point here. Okay. So, and, uh, and this line here, so we should be parallel to that, uh, sorry, um, I write it more precisely. So this, this line here uh, is, uh, is the line of uh, uh, x times h minus of h because uh, uh, then uh, when uh, h times uh, uh, this x bar uh, because this should be equal to uh, i of x okay so this this uh, these two functions must be the same so so this point here corresponds to minus phi of h is the point where this line uh, crosses the, the, the y-axis and, uh, and the optimization of this, uh, this, uh, uh, of this function over h tells you that the slope um, of, uh, so the, 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 the function phi of h uh, that x bar is given by the derivative of uh, phi of h uh, even, uh, right. So now, if you uh, if you plot this function uh, here um, as a um, <coughs> um, yeah, so so when you uh, um, when you solve this problem here, okay, so uh, um, if I plot uh, minus this function here, is a function that uh, uh, where each point is decreased by um, h times x. So what I will have is is a is a uh, is is a uh, um, modified function 
which is uh, uh, u of p minus x of p times h. And, uh, and then uh, uh, if you, uh, the minimum, then you have to find the co unconstrained minimum of this function. And the unconstrained minimum of this function is this one. And, uh, and that, that is, uh, uh, um, and, and that is uh, the, uh, the value of, uh, uh, of uh, it's minus the value of, uh, um, of phi. Okay, so, so the important point uh, uh, to remember about this uh, construction is that uh, 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 you want to, uh, so in, by the Rajan transform, uh, you want to change variables in an optimization uh, uh, problem in order to map this optimization problem into another optimization problem. Okay, and uh, in this way you not only transform the dependent variable, but you also depend, uh, change uh, uh, the, the function. And in order to pre preserve the fact that uh, in both uh, representations, uh, the, um, uh, you are always dealing uh, with an optimization problem of a, of a convex function. Okay, so now let me uh, show you uh, what is the meaning of this uh, um, of H. So the meaning of H is uh, um, can be understood by the following uh, argument. So let us uh, look at uh, the solution of this problem for a slightly different value of x bar, okay? Now, uh, this will be uh, equal to uh, the u, which is computed at the optimal p for x plus dx, okay? So this is uh, equal to, uh, if I expand this, uh, then uh, this would be the, the uh, gradient of u uh, times uh, the, the derivative, uh, the, um, uh, so, sorry, it will be u equal to, if I expand this, uh, this will be equal to u in uh, e star of x bar plus the gradient over p of u computed in, uh, uh, in p star of x times uh, uh, the change in uh, delta p plus higher order terms. Okay. Now, this is equal to uh, this is equal to uh, the solution of this problem because p star is the solution of this. And then uh, here uh, you have this uh, delta p star. And uh, uh, now <coughs> the gradient over p of u um, because uh, uh, you are solving uh, this problem with this constraint uh, so when you write uh, uh, this problem as a problem with uh, 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 when you write it as uh, max of h of the uh, minimum over p of u of p uh, minus uh, uh, h times x of p uh, plus h times x bar. Okay, when you write it like this, you see that uh, in the in the first order condition uh, uh, for this maximization problem, you see that uh, the gradient of p at p star must be equal to the uh, gradient of 
uh, must be equal to x, h times the gradient of, uh, of x. Uh, okay. So uh, if you substitute uh, this uh, condition there, then, then you have h times the gradient of p of x of p times uh, the delta p star plus higher of the terms. But you see from here that uh, uh, this object uh, is nothing but uh, uh, the x bar because it's just uh, uh, the change in x if p star goes to uh, from uh, p star to uh, p star of x plus dx. Okay, so this is exactly equal to dx. So the solution, the, the uh, end result of this is that uh, to live in order in dx, this is just uh, i of x plus h times uh, dx bar. And uh, so this tells you that h is equal to uh, di uh, dx bar. Okay? Likewise, uh, you can argue by essentially the same uh, argument uh, that uh, x bar is uh, the derivative of, of phi with respect to, uh, to h. So, um, so you see that uh, the Legendre transform, uh, when uh, you go from, uh, um, from this problem here to uh, when you map, uh, when you map uh, uh, this problem here uh, into uh, this problem here, okay, is a, is a, is a mapping uh, that transforms uh, a, a problem in a dependent variable i and uh, a so an independent variable x bar and a dependent variable i into uh, a different coordinate h and a different function uh, phi. And uh, so this, uh, but essentially in both uh, the, these two problems describe the optimization problem of the same function u, okay? And um, uh, so this, these two variables uh, x bar and h are called uh, conjugate variables and, uh, and you can see that uh, this uh, the Legendre transform is uh, uh, completely symmetric in the sense that uh, uh, the so if you write uh, So when you set uh, 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 say h at the solution of, uh, of this problem, then uh, uh, you can write uh, that, uh, uh, that the solution of this is given by say h of x bar times p of h of x bar uh, times uh, uh, x bar minus p of h of x bar where this uh, uh, h is the um, solution of uh, um, uh, is, the, is the solution uh, for this particular problem in this uh, 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 representation so you see that the, the, the relation between i and phi and x and uh, h is completely symmetric. This you can write it as, uh, this relation you can write it as i plus phi is equal to h times x bar. So there is no, um, uh, there is no uh, uh, distinction between uh, these two uh, representation of uh, uh, this optimization problem.
Okay. Indeed, you can easily show that uh, uh, by what I wrote before, that uh, the if you Rajan transform uh, uh, phi, you get i, and if you Rajan transform i, you get uh, you get phi. Okay. So there is a very nice uh, uh, paper uh, that uh, this note that discusses uh, the Rajan transform, and I will put it on the website. 